boys and girls, the hair is up in a ponytail today that I like to say makes me look like Cynthia from the Rugrats. It has been a week, you guys. Uh, we just covered election week. By the time you see this video, we may still not know the results of the 2020 presidential election yet, but I can tell you that journalists all over the country have been working very hard to cover it. And so today I'm going to bring you a fun video called Oh, it's in my bag. This probably weighs about 10 pounds, I'm not kidding. Now, what makes this different than any girl showing you her purse with a bunch of stuff that she probably doesn't need in it? Well, I really wouldn't call this a purse. I would call it more of a go bag. A lot of reporters refer to it as that, and that's because this bag is meant to hold anything and everything you would need in case you have to get up and go to breaking news anywhere, anytime. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, well, this first item isn't going to shock anybody, but it's all of my makeup. All of the makeup. As a local journalist, I do all of my makeup every day. I usually do it before I go to work if I'm reporting. If I'm anchoring, sometimes I'll do it at the station, but I live in the South, it gets hot, I work long days. Your makeup falls off even if you put setting spray on it. So I always keep a makeup touch-up kit. Okay, throughout this video, I'm going to feel like this is somewhat like that episode of Spongebob, I think when they're selling chocolates and Patrick and Spongebob keep taking like bags out of bags. One chocolate bar coming up. <laughs> because this next thing is a fanny pack. Click. It. Yes, I carry a fanny pack in my purse everywhere I go because when I am out on assignment by myself, I have to carry a microphone, a tripod, and a camera. That's three items in only two hands. So where are you gonna put other things you need? Some of those other things include batteries, lots and lots of batteries. Oh my gosh, I have like 12 AA batteries in here. These are for, this is a chapstick. This is not a battery. I have clamps. I think I have two of these, two different sizes. These bad boys are for if I need to clip a microphone onto something or clip wires to something, either onto a tripod or a mic stand or a light stand um, when I'm setting up a camera shoot of some sort. You never know what you're gonna need to hold when you have just yourself and no one else to hold it. I also have this, I got at Cracker Barrel. Those stores have everything. It is a little fan that you plug in to your phone and it, it's like a little fan and it takes the power from your phone. Living in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in the heat, that comes in handy when you're out on a shoot for hours on end in the direct sunlight and have no air conditioning. I am not going to deploy this, so to speak, but I have a loud, noise maker thing that I can reach in and grab if someone tries to attack me while I'm out by myself. And this will really just hold anything. It'll hold my cell phones, it'll hold my wallet, anything that I can't hold when I'm carrying everything else out on a shoot and I'm moving around shooting stories. Okay, next. It's 2020, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five different masks in the purse in addition to the one I'll probably already have on my face. Ooh, we got some aerosols in here. We got the bug spray in case I'm out in the middle of nowhere or really just anywhere in the summertime and don't wanna get my ankles bitten. We have deodorant because you never want to be smelly as a news reporter. I mean, you never want to be smelly in general, but especially not when you're meeting strangers every day and you're sweating and you're carrying 30 pounds of camera gear and it's 100 degrees outside and it's hot. You don't wanna be sweaty. Oh. I have a dog collar. Well, I owe this tip to Aaron Thomas, a lovely meteorologist at our station and my friend who showed me that if you're anchoring or reporting and uh, you're not wearing pants and you don't have a waistband, so you're wearing a dress, or if you're out in the field and you're wearing a dress, you don't have anywhere to clip and hang your microphone and other wireless wirings that you need when you go on air. So you get a little dog collar and because you usually only see us from about here up, you do this. And you clip it on yourself <laughs> and you can attach your microphone. So Aaron, thank you for that tip. This will never leave my bag. So hand in hand with the dog collar, you have what is called 
an IFB. Now an IFB is the little earpiece that comes around the back and goes in your ear so that you can hear what's going on in the show and you can hear when the anchors toss to you and you can talk to your producers. You clip it to the back of your shirt like this, kind of toss the wire that plugs into your phone or your little IFB pack, whatever it is if you're in the studio, and you thread it up behind your ear like this and it goes in your ear and you can't see it. Very cliche, but very accurate. Most reporters will almost always have a classic pen and paper reporter's notebook with them to take notes in any situation, anywhere they are, anytime. Next we have two hairbrushes, two different needs. This one is more of a detangler. This one is more of a smoother. Depends on the time of year, <laughs> depends on the weather. These are a more seasonal item. I just put these in a few weeks ago as it started getting colder, especially now that I'm a morning reporter and will be up before the sun rises and when it's at its coldest. Gloves. There is nothing worse than standing outside and having to look energized and enthusiastic and freezing your butt off because you don't have gloves. So these will be staying in my bag through at least March. I don't know how many other reporters have this, but I feel kind of cool with it. I have a business card notebook. You meet a lot of people every day in this business. And so I've collected quite a few business cards over the last year and a half that I've worked here. Yes, I add a lot of these, if not all of them, to my work phone contacts, but sometimes it's just easier to remember you got the business card and go and look it up. And in this bag, it's sort of more of like a, a toiletries or like extra items bag. We have a sewing kit in case I get a rip or a button or something falls off my outfit in the field and I can't go back and get different clothes. Mouthwash, again, with going with the not being stinky theme. We'll say with the masks now, that's not as big of a concern, but always gotta keep the mouthwash. I don't know why, but I just found a dreidel in my purse. I do not celebrate Hanukkah, but I'm ready to if I ever need to. Now, would it really be 2020 if I didn't pull out a random vat of hand sanitizer from my purse? Hydration or dehydration, you know what I'm saying? Healthy snacks. I really feel like I've been Mary Poppins just pulling all of this stuff out of this bag that seems bottomless. Yes, I try to bring healthy, non-perishable snacks to work every day because I don't work in a situation where I'm at a physical office a lot of the time, so I can't refrigerate or microwave anything. An apple or some dried carrot sticks, always good go-to options. I also try to keep my snacks light because I do work a weird shift. I'm waking up at 2.30 in the morning, so I really don't eat a full meal in between that time. I have a protein bar when I wake up and then one or both of these guys before I get off and then I just eat when I get home. Well, you can't see, but I have sprawled out everything I just showed you all over my couch and floor, so it's time to put it all back in. <sighs> Now, of course, sugar had to make an appearance before we concluded this video. I hope you learned something and that I didn't just bore you by emptying out my purse to you. All right, well, I think we're gonna go take a nap because it's been a long week. We are so thankful for you watching and we'll see you next time.